Welcome to the News Hub, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. The Paris Air Show has always been the arena for aviation's biggest players, a stage where the giants of the industry showcase their latest innovations and compete for attention. But in 2025, a seismic shift occurred that would be remembered for years to come. COMAC, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, stunned the industry by securing 100 orders for its C919 narrowbody jet in a single day at Le Bourget, a feat that left many in awe. This wasn't just a sales win. It was a declaration that the established order was being challenged and a new player was ready to take the stage. Each C919, priced at $91 million, made the day's deals worth billions, catching even seasoned observers off guard and signaling a major shift in market dynamics. For years, Comac was met with skepticism, often seen as an underdog in a highly competitive field, but this moment changed perceptions overnight. Airlines and leasing companies showed real confidence in the C919 as a viable alternative to Boeing and Airbus, marking a significant shift in the industry's landscape. The Comac Chalet buzzed with energy as executives finalized deals that had been in the works for months, culminating in a day of triumph and celebration. For decades, commercial aviation was a two-player game dominated by Boeing and Airbus. Now, a third contender had arrived, ready to challenge the status quo. The implications were clear, this was more than a successful air show, it was the start of a new era in global aviation, one where Comac would play a pivotal role. Comac didn't just participate, it dominated the news cycle, signaling its move from development to commercial force and capturing the world's attention. This wasn't about prototypes or promises, it was about a certified aircraft, ready for production and serious buyers, marking a new chapter in aviation history. The day marked Comac's true arrival, ready to compete for a significant share of the sky and to be taken seriously by its competitors. The industry's attention had shifted, and the established giants could no longer ignore the newcomer, as Comac had proven its capability and ambition. The Paris Air Show 2025 will be remembered as the day Comac changed the game, forever altering the landscape of commercial aviation. For nearly 50 years, Boeing and Airbus have ruled commercial aviation, dominating the skies and shaping the way the world travels. Their fierce rivalry has driven technological innovation, influenced pricing, and defined the very structure of the global aviation market. For decades, airlines had a choice, but it was always between these two industry titans, leaving little room for true competition or disruption. Now, Comac's breakthrough at the Paris Air Show marks the first real threat to this long-standing duopoly, signaling a dramatic shift in the industry. Backed by China's immense industrial and political might, Comac operates on a scale that previous challengers could never hope to match, with resources and ambition to rival the established giants. This isn't just another startup. It's a national priority for China, with government support fueling rapid development and global ambitions. The arrival of a third major player means more competition, potentially lower prices for airlines and passengers, and a renewed push for greater innovation across the board. Boeing and Airbus must now factor Comac into every strategic decision, especially as the Asia-Pacific region becomes the fastest-growing market for air travel. The battle for market share is now a three-way contest, demanding new strategies, deeper partnerships, and a renewed focus on efficiency and customer needs. The era of a comfortable duopoly is ending. The industry is shifting to a more complex multipolar landscape where agility and innovation will decide the winners. Comac's 100 order day in Paris was proof that this transition is already underway and the world is taking notice. The skies are more crowded and more competitive than ever before, with airlines and manufacturers racing to adapt. The future of aviation will be shaped by three, not two, global giants ushering in a new era of opportunity, challenge, and transformation for the entire industry. The C919 is Comac's answer to the world's most competitive market single-aisle jets. Designed to rival the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A322neo, it targets the backbone of global air travel. Seating up to 192 passengers, the C919 is ideal for high-demand routes across Asia. 
It blends Chinese engineering with international technology, including Leap 1C engines from a GE Safran joint venture. This global supply chain accelerates development and ensures international standards. Comac's strategy, dominate China's massive domestic market, then expand globally with competitive pricing and financing. The Paris Air Show proved that airlines worldwide are starting to see the C919 as a credible, cost-effective choice. While the C919 stole the spotlight, Comac was quietly advancing its next leap, the C929 widebody. Designed for long-haul routes, the C929 aims to challenge the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. The baseline model will seat up to 320 passengers and fly 12,000 kilometers, connecting Asia to Europe and North America. Comac is developing a family of variants, mirroring the strategies of its Western rivals. After ending its Russian partnership, Comac is evaluating Western engines while investing in its own CJ2000 Turbo. Turbo Fan. Building a wide-body jet is a technological milestone, requiring mastery of advanced materials and global support networks. The C929 is more than an airplane, it's a symbol of China's ambition to compete at the highest level. Its success will measure China's rise as a true aerospace superpower. Comac's rise is built on global collaboration, not isolation. At Paris it cemented partnerships with top Western suppliers for both the C919 and C929. Deals with France's Safran and America's Crane Aerospace bring advanced systems and proven expertise to Comac's jets. These alliances ensure reliability, safety, and international appeal, crucial for winning over global airlines. By integrating Western technology, Comac accelerates development and eases regulatory approval abroad. This pragmatic approach also helps airlines maintain Comac jets using existing global support networks. Global partnerships are a cornerstone of Comac's strategy to become a true world player. Every new jet needs a launch customer, and for the C929, that's Air China. As China's flag carrier, Air China's commitment gives the C929 instant credibility and a stable production start. With experience operating Boeing and Airbus widebodies, Air China will help refine the C929 for global service. For Air China, flying a domestically built long-haul jet is both a point of pride and a strategic move. This partnership anchors the C929's commercial future and showcases China's coordinated industrial strategy. Air China's endorsement is the first step in taking the C929 to the world stage. Comac's ambitions go far beyond China's borders. Its regional jet, the C909, is already flying with airlines in Vietnam, Laos, and Indonesia, proving Comac can succeed internationally. The real test is breaking into Europe and the US, which requires ESA certification, the gold standard for safety. COMAC is working closely with European regulators, but the process is tough, with technical and political hurdles. Achieving ESA approval would open doors worldwide, signaling the C919 meets the highest safety benchmarks. This is the key to unlocking global sales and cementing COMAC's place among the world's top manufacturers. The quest for certification is as much about geopolitics as engineering. Success here would be a game-changer for Comac's global ambitions. The 20,000 fear Destra Monstik in a one day dry sphere. 45 Paris Air Show was a spectacular showcase for the entire aviation industry, drawing global attention with its dazzling displays, major deals, and the unveiling of cutting-edge technology from giants like Airbus, Boeing, and a host of other innovators. The event buzzed with anticipation as industry leaders, engineers, and enthusiasts gathered to witness the future of flight unfold before their eyes. Airbus landed landmark orders, reinforcing its dominance, while engine makers such as Pratt and Whitney and Rolls-Royce showcased major advancements in propulsion technology, promising greater efficiency and sustainability for the next generation of aircraft. Yet the show opened under the shadow of a tragic Air India 787 crash, a sobering reminder of the immense responsibility and high stakes that come with every innovation in aviation. Safety, as always, remained at the forefront of every conversation. Boeing, despite the somber mood, projected strong long-term demand for new aircraft, emphasizing the resilience and ongoing growth of the global aviation market, even in the face of adversity. 
Against this dramatic backdrop, Comac's 100 Order Day stood out as the show's biggest and most unexpected surprise, instantly capturing the attention of both media and industry insiders. While big Airbus and Boeing deals were anticipated and almost routine, Comac's breakthrough was the disruptive twist that no one saw coming, signaling a new era of competition. It signaled a fundamental change in the industry's script, hinting at a future where new players could challenge the established order and reshape the global market. The established giants delivered as usual, but Comac's rapid rise was the story everyone was talking about, sparking animated debates and speculation about what this could mean for the future of aviation. The industry's future suddenly looked less predictable and far more interesting, as new ideas and fresh competition promised to accelerate innovation and redefine what's possible in the skies. The Paris Air Show 2025 will be remembered as the moment the status quo was upended, and a new chapter in aviation history began to unfold before a captivated world. Comac's Paris Triumph marks the dawn of a new era in aviation. The industry is shifting from a duopoly to a triopoly, with profound consequences for airlines, suppliers and travelers. Airlines now have more choice and leverage, likely leading to better prices and innovation. Boeing and Airbus must adapt, facing a competitor with unique advantages and state backing. The global supply chain will evolve, as Comac's rise creates both opportunities and new rivalries. The center of aviation growth is moving east, and China is now a manufacturing power to watch. The journey is just beginning, but the direction is clear. The skies will be shared by America, Europe, and China. The future of flight is more dynamic and more competitive than ever before.